is god giving somebody a new orientation the second pillar upon which kingdom leadership is built is called character please write it down character there's no such thing as good or bad character there's character or not character is always positive good habit or bad habit but you must become a person of character you may have heard people say the anointing will take you up but it's character that retains you there yes character is very important in galatians chapter 5 when you read from verse 16 to 22 we're not reading just write for reference galatians 5 16 to 22 talks about the works of the flesh and then when we get to verse 22 it talks about what we know to be the fruit of the spirit the fruits that should be resident in the recreated human spirit and the bible lists nine of them and there are all kinds of um, theological explanations others see them as expressions of love or nine distinct fruit of the spirit the most important thing is that these are the spiritual qualities verse 22 that define a person of character you are a person of character to the degree to which the fruit of the spirit is lavishly at work in you are we together give it to us please 22 but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience or long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness self-control or temperance he say against such there is no law that means there is no law on earth that means well for men that fights whoever has this attribute whether it is christianity or any other religion nobody will ever frown at a man do you know everything we do in life is an attempt to replicate this atmosphere in our lives you get dogs because you are looking for peace is that true you get a security man because you suspect as much as you came to church you still locked your car outside why because you suspect that not all men have faith you are looking for a you are trying to simulate the atmosphere of the fruit of the spirit when you are vetting employers in your place of work beyond skill why do you throw some and pick some you are looking for the semblance of the fruit of the spirit at work in them someone say character in first timothy chapter 3 when you read from verse 1 to 9 first timothy chapter 3 from verse 1 to 9 apostle paul was mentoring his son in the gospel timothy and he was guiding him to understand the ethics of effective ministry as far as the ministry of an overseer or a pastor were concerned and he began to list a group of things that he would need to watch for are we together now yes character is not necessarily perfection but you see you are a person of character to the degree to which there is a level of dexterity in your life when you are a person who is easily given to compromise you are not a person of character compromise in words compromise in deeds you must be a person of value and values even if you are wrong let it be that you are definite about something it is easy to be corrected it's easy to correct somebody who is definitely wrong than someone who vacillates between good and bad that was why it was difficult for jesus to correct the scribes and the pharisees when he met the the woman at the well she was completely wrong and he, he she switched immediately when he met a man who was possessed of devils it was pure darkness light could come immediately but when he met people who, who were in his crusades they would come early and sit inside but never be open for conversion hallelujah character this i believe is one of the attributes that we need to pray seriously especially for this generation to have we're a generation that clamors for power revelation miracles and that is wonderful and it seems especially in the area of ministry that the moment you have access to revelation you have access to some level of results it does not matter what else happens no it does it does it does 
Someone say character. Yes. 